So you're looking to get into gaming. The budget's kind of tight right now. Buying an old pre-built off of eBay might be the best way to go. So today you guys might notice we have a new addition to the channel. Uh, I have my little sister here with me and she is just getting into gaming, right Zoe? Yep. What kind of like things are you getting into? I have been playing on an iPad and on my Surface Pro for so long, but the type of games that I play, I have Steam, but the storage doesn't allow for very advanced games. So all I'm doing right now is Stardew Valley and Minecraft and things like that. Unpacking is one of my favorites lately. So I don't really have the means to play anything that I would like to play more like Ark or Elder Scrolls Online and things like that. So we're looking to get her our first gaming PC, but budget's a little tight right now. She's gonna be starting med school soon. So we gotta kind of stretch the dollars, make things go. Um, one of the best ways you can do that is head on over to eBay and you can find tons of awesome older pre-built gaming systems. Something like this Alienware Aurora R7, run you about 400 bucks used. And the thing is, it's actually a pretty damn good gaming PC for the money. I know like a lot of us have things against pre-built. We like building our own systems, but you know, it's if it's the best you can do with what you got, I mean, whatever gets you in the game, that's what you want. So we're gonna take this thing apart and kind of just refresh it. We're gonna clean it out, redo the thermal paste, make sure all the fans, everything's working. Uh, like I said, you can get these for like four or 500 bucks. We actually had this one given to us, so it's free and I'm not quite sure what state it's gonna be in when we open it up. So you're gonna pop that, hand, that out. Okay. And then just lift that panel up and away. Sure. Yep, that whole side will come off. There you go. All right, well, we'll just move this to the side for now. And then there's two locks on there. Go ahead and unlock those. Whole thing should swing. Okay. So it might be an Alienware pre-built, but this is actually a, a pretty darn good system. So you have GTX 1080, which is still a solid GPU for today. Like you can do easily about hundred frames at 1440, which is way more than what you need, especially if you're playing like art and rap and the kind of things you're gonna be into. Um, nice AIO. Uh, I believe it's got an i7-8700 in it. I'm really not sure. We'll see that in about 10 seconds. So what we're gonna do, Zoe, see these screws in here? So you're gonna take those out. Make sure careful you don't drop the screws inside the seat, inside the, the box. There you go. So you can see, I'm sure you can see it on camera. So this is your, that right there is your thermal paste. So that's what helps transfer heat between the cooler and the CPU. So it might look flat, but I'm sure you've seen a lot of things under a microscope just because it looks flat to the naked eye, it's not. Okay. So that kind of fills in the gaps and gets helps get the air out once the heat transfer. Okay. Um, just a couple of the things if you want to see your pieces. So obviously that's your CPU. It does look like it's an 8700. Your RAM. This is heat sink for your VRM. That's what powers everything right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we have some wipes. Um, you can use just a Q-tip with isopropyl alcohol or um, you can get these wipes from Arctic. They came with thermal paste, so I would normally not waste part of it. It comes with it, so you might as well use it. And they smell fantastic. Let me get you a whiff of that. Yeah? Yeah, they smell. It's very chemically strong. All right. So how often should someone do this to their to their computer? So you need to, I would take it apart and clean it, dust it at least once a year, probably once every six okay. months. Okay. As far as like putting new thermal paste, it, it should be good, especially if it's quality stuff. It should be good for like five to six years. In fact, usually, only once in the life of your computer would you do that. With this being a pre-built and the fact that I know it's probably five or six years old, it, we might as well go ahead and do it while we have it open. So this stuff is really easy. It just wipes right off if you have a... Oh my goodness. Oh, 
the chemical in this is really good. Look, if you're ever wiping inside of here too, always use uh, a static cloth. You don't want any static to build up in here. Okay. Like one straight jump, arc, fry the whole thing. So, okay. so you're gonna squeeze out about a pea-sized drop right in the middle. I'll lift this back up, squeeze a little pea-sized drop. Yep, pea-sized drop right in the middle of the CPU. It's about the thickness of the, yeah, it's about the viscosity of toothpaste, so you'll see it come out. A little bit more, like like not a momo pee, like a school pee. There you go, there should be plenty. Yeah. So the, the pressure from the screws is what's gonna spread it. So you don't have to actually spread it out. All right, so now is the fun part, is getting these holes lined back up, and we're gonna screw this bad boy back down. And that is step one. Now what we're gonna do is kind of knock a little bit, knock a little bit of this dust loose. A lot of it is really stuck on here good. Um, there's special anti-static brushes you can use, but honestly, you can use a paintbrush as long as it is natural bristles, not like nylon or polyester. Those are like static monsters. They just kind of come and honestly, just it's not in here as bad. So we're just trying to loosen stuff up. So we're gonna come in here with compressed air and actually. Is there, any, all this out. is there anything that you should be avoiding while getting in there with the brush? You want to be super gentle, okay. super gentle. Like you're barely putting any pressure. You're just trying to loosen up the dust. Loosen up a little bit, just be super gentle with it. This is what this is for. This is why I specifically made to do this. So spray, you wanna spray in the opposite direction of your fan. So like this radiator fan right here, it exhausts. So it's pushing air up and out through these holes. It's gonna be easier to get the dust out if you spray it against the way that it normally goes. So you're just gonna blow it really good. So you can see it coming yeah. out. Ooh. And it's a little dustier than I thought. The one thing against Dell is that everybody kind of knocks them for their airflow. Their airflow is, it's always been crap. Even like their brand new Alienware computers that cost like five grand, that's still just thermal throttle right out the box. So it's like when it gets so hot, the CPU will actually throttle down to stop it from burning itself up. So like you spend five grand on a computer, you think you got a badass machine, you get home and you're benchmarking and you're not hitting any of the numbers you thought. It's probably because it's thermal throttling, which is really common with like big manufacturer pre-builds. So even if you're not working on a um, pre-built PC that you, or computer that you got off of eBay or whatever was given to you, this is still a good idea to do every now and then. Oh, you always need to clean your computer. Absolutely, absolutely. I actually have a ton of space in here for expansion if you ever want to add more hard drives and stuff. You can do that down the road. Um, I don't know if we could go any bigger. I don't think there's enough room to put a bigger GPU in here. 1080's right up against the edge. It's not a massive car, but it's definitely not what I call small. Well, as long as it can hold Ark and like Assassin's Creed, Elder Scrolls Online, it's good for me. It'll be fine. You should probably wear a mask when doing something like this. Yeah. Whew. That is gonna get me tomorrow. Oh, look, see, this cable is coming. Power cable on this GPU is coming loose. Glad we checked that. It's another good tip, like while you're having a part, especially if it's an older PC, it'd be a good time to check, make sure 
all your cables are tied, everything's in there, because you never know. Especially if it was shipped to you, like if you order it on eBay and it's been sitting in UPS, they've been kicking it around and treating it like crap. All right. That looks a million times better. All right, so now let's close it back up. And you flip those two things to lock it back in place. Shut that, now we're good. All right, while we still have it apart, let's go ahead, take the claws, kind of just wipe down the sides, get any dust dirt off the top, sides, front. So there we go. It's all uh, refreshed, ready to go, and should give you another four or five years of gaming, assuming none of the components go out or fail in it. But uh, that's it, like it's really, it's that easy. That's a simple thing to do to prolong the life of your computer. Yes, and it's something that is like completely overlooked by most people. Like I said, anybody that's building their PC from scratch like we do, they're not gonna miss that. It's, it's such a simple right. thing. But you go and you buy a pre-built from Best Buy or Amazon or wherever, a lot of times if you bought a pre-built, it's because you're not really into building and stuff like that. You might not be comfortable taking it apart. You don't have to be comfortable. It's right. super easy to do. Just use the right tools, take your time, don't break anything, and that's it. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that video, don't forget to check out one of these. Make sure you like, subscribe, check out some of our other content, and as always, thanks for watching.